Good morning, Grizzlies. I'm Cameron Berg. And I'm Ari Hudson. And these are your announcements for Thursday, February 9th, 2023. This Sunday, the Philadelphia Eagles take on the Kansas City Chiefs in Arizona for Super Bowl 57. So we asked WHS who would win the big game. Hi, I'm Cameron Berg, and I'm here with... Cameron's dad. That's right. Okay, so what is your Super Bowl prediction? Super Bowl prediction. Put it down. Chiefs, 35, and Philly, 28. Eagles win 37-34. Who do you guys have winning the Super Bowl? Uh, Eagles. Eagles. Uh, Chiefs. 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 All right. Eagles win. By how much? I don't know, like 15. Eagles. Let's go. Fly, Eagles, fly. Hey, but I got to tell you why, though. This is important. He doesn't want the why. My college roommate is the head coach for the Eagles. Mm. What? Oh, yeah. Oh, my oh, yeah. God. Go, Eagles. Go, Eagles. Fly, fly Eagles, fly. fly. Um, Eagles for the win, totally. Who do you have winning the Super Bowl? Uh, I got the Eagles. Okay. Well, it definitely won't be the Cleveland Browns, I can tell you that. Uh, I'm going to say it's going to be the Philadelphia Eagles. They're going to win by a field goal. be 24-21. And my pick for the Super Bowl is the Philadelphia Eagles. The Chiefs. Um, the Eagles are going to win. By how much? 15 points. Who do you have winning the Super Bowl? I don't know. Who do you have winning the Super Bowl? Eagles for sure. Who do you guys have winning the Super Bowl? Uh, Eagles. All right. Man of few words. Uh, Ms. Smore, who's winning Chiefs or Eagles? Eagles. The Chiefs. Hey, who do you have winning the Super Bowl? Uh, <clears throat> Eagles. Eagles, for sure. Awesome. Chiefs or Eagles? Uh, Chiefs Eagles, or Eagles? Eagles all the way. Eagles fly, Eagles fly. Fly, Eagles fly. Final score, final score. 38 35, Eagles. Let's go. We got Eagles all the way. Look, Chiefs are frauds, okay? They don't... I'm tired of everybody talking like the Chiefs are all that. They're not, all right? They're not. The Bengals should have won that game. So who do you think is going to win? Um, I don't know about you, but I'm going with the Eagles. Oh, yeah, me too. Go yeah. Eagles! Sergeant Reed from the Marine Corps will be here next Monday, February 13th, during 5A, B, and C lunches. If you are interested in joining or have any questions, this would be a good opportunity to learn more. Reminder to all students, you are not allowed to be in the halls the first five minutes and the last five minutes of class. Please plan accordingly. The National Honor Society is recruiting for the blood drive on February 22nd. If interested, please see NHS members in the senior commons during lunch. Also, NHS will be having its annual Valentine's Day flower sale. Flowers can be purchased, one for $2 or three for $5, February 14th through the 16th in the cafeteria during lunch. For seven years, a certain boy wizard went to a certain wizard school and conquered evil. This, however, is not his story. This is the story of the Puffs, who just happened to be there too. A tale for anyone who has never been destined to save the world. The comedy this spring is Puffs, one act for young wizards. All auditions are Monday, February 13th at 2.45 in room 1212. See Mrs. Lake with any questions. The drama department is looking for students interested in joining our technical crews for the upcoming spring drama productions. There will be an organizational meeting at 2.40 in room 1212 on Wednesday, February 15th. See Ms. Chalky with any questions. Mr. Peel and the WHS Jazz Ensemble are looking for students that play piano, guitar, and drum set to add to its membership for the 2023-2024 school year. Interested students do not necessarily need jazz experience and do not need to be in band, but should already have familiarity playing the instrument and the ability to read music. Please email Mr. Peel or stop by the band room after school for more details. February is Black History Month, so each episode we will be celebrating the many men and women who have called Northeast Ohio home and have gone on to have an impact on our society. Today we feature former Cleveland mayor and politician Carl Stokes. Born in Cleveland, Stokes, a graduate of Cleveland State University Law School, first served as a member of the Ohio House of Representatives before becoming Cleveland's mayor in 1967. During his tenure as mayor, he was a reformer who brought diversity and positive change to the city of Cleveland and was best known for leading the charge to clean up the Cuyahoga River after it famously caught fire in 1969. To learn more about Carl and others like him, visit blackhistorymonth.gov. Now let's go to Lillian and Graham for today's sports report. 
Thanks, guys. The Varsity Boys and Girls Swim Teams will compete in the sectional meet on Saturday, February 11th at 12 p.m. at Cleveland State University. Tickets are $8 for adults and $6 for students and can only be purchased online at ohsaa.org. See the athletic webpage for more details. Congratulations to Casey Mobley and Connor Crowley for being selected to perform in the 2023 Ohio Music Education Association All-State Honor Band. They performed in Columbus this past Saturday under the direction of award-winning conductor and composer Jack Stamp. Congratulations! The varsity girls basketball team will host Maple Heights in the sectional tournament on Saturday, February 11th at 1 p.m. at Wadsworth High School. Tickets are $8 for adults and $6 for students and can only be purchased online at ohsaa.org. See the athletic webpage for more details. International Club will be celebrating Mardi Gras on Tuesday, February 21st. We will meet in Madame Stratton's room, 2503, after school until 345. Plan on having fun with games and activities. See our Google Classroom for important information. That's all for this week's update. Back to you guys. Thanks, guys. Before we wrap today's show, let's go to Logan, who is standing by with history teacher Mr. Homer Kauser to talk about WHS's intramural basketball playoffs. Hello, everybody. I'm here today with one of my favorite social studies teachers. In fact, probably my favorite social studies teacher of all time, Mr. Homer Kauser. And today we're going to be asking some questions to get to know a little bit more about him and the Intramurals Basketball League. So, first of all, what is your name and what do you teach? Uh, so, my name is Mr. Hummerkauser. I have been teaching for the last four years here at Wadsworth High School, and I teach world history and American history. That's pretty cool. Uh, what do you coach as well? Because I know you coach some things. Uh, so, I coach cross country in the fall uh, and then also track and field in the spring. Very cool, very cool. I used to run cross country, and that was brutal. It was gruesome, but it was fun. Um, and now for the questions to actually uh, that we're actually here for. First, who do you think is winning the intramurals championship? Ooh, this is a this is a tough one. There are some really good teams. Uh, the the leader in the doghouse or clubhouse here, I'd have to say, is Ben Leopold's team. Uh, there are a bunch of seniors. Uh, they got a lot of athleticism, a lot of skills. Uh, just need to see if they have all their players available the next two weeks. And then my underdog, I would say my underdog would be Jenna Ruther's team. Uh, they're mostly senior, junior girls. I mean, if they get the right matchup here, they could they could make some a surprise run, at least to the Final Four. And who knows? I don't think we've ever had a girls team win, but this could be the year. How have you been liking the uh, just the intramurals, like, Refing in general how how what is it fun like I don't... oh yeah it's it, it's a lot of fun um i ref with uh, mr lynn and senor lee um and we, we have a great you know a great group of kids that that participate i really love how each day you know they have different uniforms to wear whether it's uh i know your guys team have like the charlotte hornets you know kind of throwback jerseys uh parker ross's team has they're like most of them are i think black phoenix suns jerseys and then you have some teams that just wear cut off flannels uh, so I think just the camaraderie we see within the school, you know, we have 12 total teams this year. So uh, that, that's incredible to see kids being active um, and having fun Saturday mornings. And who is your favorite team to watch? Oh, wow. Favorite team to watch. I, I would say I have two. It would definitely be uh, the two freshman teams. Uh, just because you never know what to expect. Like, they talk a lot of trash in class, and then I watch their basketball game, and it sometimes looks like trash. So oh, yeah. it's just interesting oh, yeah. to, to hear them talk a big game and then actually watch their game. And what is our schedule for the rest of the season for the championship playoffs, all of that, as they start this Saturday? Yeah, so we just finished up the regular season. Uh, this This Saturday we have our first – two rounds of the playoffs so most teams will play two games some teams will just play one game and then next week february 18th is our final four um and then we'll crown a champion next week so uh Wadsworth students are always welcome to come watch the games they're in the field house uh this week we have games at eight o'clock eight thirty nine and nine thirty and then the championship games for the final four will be at eight and eight thirty there in the y Thanks, Logan. That will do it for today's announcements. We'll be back next Tuesday, February 14th. Have a great day, Grizzlies.